Hello, I'm Greg, and it's time for another Tone Take. Yeah, um, um, uh, Edward Hobbs asked, what's your favorite pipe? Don't matter, uh, if it's a artisan pipe or a manufactured pipe, uh, what's your favorite pipe? Man, I gotta think about that. I said, shoot, that's a big one right there. And I, and I went to my pipe cabin, and I was looking at everybody. Everybody up in there. And, um, and, uh, I've had pipes that I've had the most excellent smoke with ever and one time and never had that smoke again you know, um, you know where, the, where, the, where the pipe just stayed, stayed lit you know the old bowl and uh, stuff like that and uh, and I've had pipes that that, that, I, that were my favorite at points in times you know um, you know, I, I smoke long stems because I don't like the bowl smoke coming up in my face. And over time, I have learned how to keep bowl smoke out of my face by just breathing methods, you know. Um, when to it, when to exhale, when to take in a full, uh, a full lung of air, lungs of air, and puff my pipe and then be able to exhale at a particular time when I know the um, the uh, the bowl smoke is going to be coming up, you know, that sort of stuff, you know. Anyway, yeah, um, this has been my favorite for a long time. It just feels so good in my hand. This is the this is that pipe I bought off of eBay, um, and all it says is that it's from Poland. That's all it says. And I had John Inge make the stem for it. Love the stem. He did a great job. The uh, the stem that the short stem that was in it was cockeyed, like it they, 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 like it drilled the hole wrong. Um, John fixed all that. I'm telling you, he just did a great job. And um, uh, plenty of smoke. Um, because the bowl's so deep, you know. Really like this pipe. Now, since I got it, I um, like I say, I've I've grown a little bit more, learned a little bit more, and all, and um, uh, and I've got other pipes that it's like, oh, I see some disadvantages of this thing. And one of the disadvantages is um, <clears throat> is uh, the long uh, I don't know what it's made of this long stem I don't know it was, uh, some version of plastic um, condensation builds in this thing and um, and you know the pipe that prove that to me that 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 it that it's actually the the long plastic stem that can't absorb any any uh moisture is this pipe this pipe that uh brian quilter gave me <laughs> i cannot get away from this uh this uh canadian here just a huge just a huge um uh huge stem it's seven and a half inches into overall length and um And uh, and with such a stem that it has, it it with with such a long wooden part of the stem that it has, uh, it's it just absorbs all the moisture that's coming up in the stem. Uh, and such a small piece of plastic that it has for the end, uh, there's not a lot of moisture that builds up in here and is able to start gurgling you know i can't stand gurgling i can't when i'm smoking i don't want to i don't want to clean out a pipe with a pipe cleaner i don't consider that as part of the part of the pipe smoking experience it's like it's like it interrupts me from my pipe smoking really some folks are like well this is overall the pipe smoking experience so this this is this is that this that's things that they enjoy actually 
cleaning their pipe, water, water smoking it, and stuff like that, you know. And 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 to each his own, that for sure, you know. But to me, it's just I can't stand that gurgle starting to happen. I'm like, oh boy, if things aren't working like they're supposed to, you know, that sort of thing. Anyway, um, yeah. So uh, this one here is hard to get away from right here. I mean, real hard for me. The uh, the walls aren't necessarily thick, but with this sea sea something sea rock finish that it has, uh, it it leaves you a lot of air gaps between your fingers and the wood um, because you're actually touching the protruding points. And um, this one here, it, it's long enough to get that bowl of smoke from me and and my breathing methods being uh, like they are now um, I'm able to deal with with, with this short of pipe uh, the other day I, I was at a grocery store and um, I, I bought me one of them little uh, Captain no not Captain Black uh, Black and Mild cigars you know the little ones you know and uh, and uh, when I would walk with that thing in my mouth that harsh tip smoke would come right up in my nose. Oh man, that was a killer. Ooh, I can't stand that. And uh, maybe I just haven't, yeah, you know, I never was a cigarette, I never was a smoker of any kind before I took up pipe smoking. So I, I haven't, it hasn't ingrained in me all these uh, breathing methods. I hold my breath when at particular time because the smoke's coming up, to, up, up real close to me and that sort of thing. Or, or exhaling when that's happening or whatever to keep from getting that stuff in my lungs anyway um yes oh yeah and uh, also i hope that i hope that make, makes everything clear uh ever um jc pipes and knives jerry he he asked um i don't know if he asked or or he was just talking about his favorite knife or something and and i got i got this is something I just take around all the time. It's not necessarily a knife, it's a molly tool, but I use it as a knife too. Of course, it's got a couple of knives on it. This is the Leatherman Wave, and I, and I bought the uh, the metal case for it. And uh, it just pulls out of the metal case like that. And um, the Leatherman Wave is a, uh, there, there may be some better Leatherman out there now, but this, this one right here, works like a charm and really what makes it worth its worth its weight in gold is this little thing right here that piece right there pulls out it's got a Phillips on one end and a, and a screwdriver on the other end well and of course it's got this little bottle opener thing you know that sort of stuff and over here it's got a it's got uh, a big heavy heavy screwdriver and um and a very teeny tiny little screwdriver this also pulls out and it has as a, a flat head on one side and a uh, phillips on the other and um uh and it also has scissors these scissors work fabulously and, I, and over a great period of time they still work um, of course, it's got the, got the uh, replaceable cutter, cutter uh, blade on it for cutting wire and uh, regular pliers. These pliers work great. The earlier Leathermen were, were uh, just a sharp piece of metal right down here. Where, where when you pressed on, pressed on with your uh, hand to tighten up something, that, that metal wanted to push into your hand anyway. But these here are rounded, which makes it really comfortable. Uh, on the exterior, there's a kind of like that serrated knife type thing and over here on this side is a saw I had no idea I'd use a saw as much as I do drywall little little limbs stuff like that works like a charm uh, a, uh, a uh, diamond file on this side and a regular file on this side uh, and my and my regular knife blade here that about does it for the for the tool itself now there's another accessory that you can buy for this Leatherman Wave, and this, it's right here. 
remember that bit I took out these are several different types of bits right here that you just push it push out pull it out and switch it out uh, star bits they came in a pack of two and uh, and and all this all this uh, all this holds is one so I, I took out the bits that I was going to most likely use and um, uh, put it all in one uh, Alan Alan uh, uh, bits uh, I've got all the sizes that will that I can make something happen if I'm in a pinch, and that's basically what these what these tools are for. You know, something that you you're not close to the truck or 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 something like that where you can go get a legitimate tool. But um, here right here, that 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 small bit that I showed you, see that little teeny tiny one right there. Uh, sometimes that bit will break. You know, if I start prying on it or some crazy thing like that, and uh, I got an extra one right here. So uh, yeah, that's the that's the Leatherman Wave, and the, and the sheath does fabulous. Uh, I've I've had nylon sheaths, um, leather sheaths, and stuff like that. And nylon sheaths are good. The Velcro eventually wears out them to me, and and this thing here just stayed right there. That sheath there, that metal sheath. Oh, another thing. This is, I keep this in my front pocket, but I would like to get this and have somebody weld a little loop right in here, a couple loops, where this actually sticks down into the loop, the metal loop. This right here is an extension for that for that bit that I was talking about you know, that pulls out. And you put this in the bit, in the, in the, in the Leatherman uh, tool itself, and then you can stick your bit right in here, or different, different types of, um, uh, hex bits and the, these little flat ones back in here will will stick in there and stay in there which is sweet so uh anyway yep that's my knife pipes and knives <laughs> all right i'll see you guys later um i gotta i gotta i'm on the way to take down christmas lights for a guy and out of town and might do a I do a uh, video next to some waterfront or something. Heading to the east again. I'll see you guys later. Bye now.